All right, what's going on my veteran friends? I um, wanna do a quick video today for everyone about purchasing after foreclosure. Um, a lot of people are scared and they don't know the information, so I'm gonna do this video today to talk about the qualifications as far as purchasing um, with the VA loan after having a VA loan on a previous home, uh, which unfortunately went into foreclosure for whatever the case may be. Uh, a lot of people aren't sure if they can buy and, and how much they can qualify for, so I'm gonna discuss that here today. So the first thing people are going to ask is uh, how much you can qualify for and the, and the way that lenders work this out is to find out what's, how much entitlement is used on the certificate of eligibility right now. Like how do things look, how much entitlement was lost and how much entitlement is left over to be able to calculate how much you can qualify for based on the remaining entitlement. Um, this, the, the key caveat to all of this information uh, is, is, is twofold really. After we know the entitlement used, we have to figure out what the county loan limit is, where you are buying. Um, once we know where you're buying, it's, it's easy to figure out how much, how much the VA will guarantee on the new loan, right? So um, once you have these two pieces of information, we can calculate the max, maximum amount that can be um, qualified for based on zero down, but also if you wanna uh, purchase above that amount, how much down payment will be required to use uh, the VA loan. So um, those are the two keys to the whole process. Um, entitlement used or lost, you know, and then county where you're buying. Um, now, in some cases, county loan limits are different across your state, okay? Some areas are high cost, some, some areas are, are, are standard loan limit. Um, where I'm at in Maryland, we have uh, five or six particular counties where, which are high cost, and thus the eligibility uh, expands to, to those uh, to, in those counties as opposed to the, the lower cost areas uh, which eligibility is, is, is a little bit more restricted to. So in these cases, I tend to guide people towards the higher cost counties, uh, higher cost being the, only for the fact that those, those counties have higher loan limits, not necessarily you know, cost of living, things like that. But um, definitely check those two things out when you are trying to buy with the VA loan after foreclosure. That's gonna help you out a lot. Now the next common thing I get is how long do you have to wait after a foreclosure to purchase the next home? Um, standard VA guideline is two years from the time the home was foreclosed on or transferred out of your name. Uh, I have this document over here uh, to, to my left, which should show you um, the information straight from the VA handbook, which anyone that can access online, but I put it here so we can read from it together. Um, you know, the fact, it literally says you may disregard a foreclosure finalized more than two years from the date of closing. If the foreclosure was finalized within the one to two years from the date of closing, it's probably not possible to determine if the borrower is a satisfactory credit risk unless both requirements are met here below. Number one, the borrower has obtained consumer items on credit subsequent to the foreclosure and has satisfactorily made the payments over a continued period of time and the foreclosure was caused by circumstances beyond the control of the borrower, such as unemployment, prolonged strikes, medical bills not covered by insurance, and so on. Uh, these are basically extenuating circumstances. Now, we all know ab about COVID-19, the effects that those have had. Um, if someone has had a foreclosure due to this, this seems to meet the guidelines. Uh, I, would, I would call the, the VA Regional Loan Center to clarify that, but I mean, I, I would certainly pigeonhole for, for that. So. Um, those, are, those are the exceptions to circumstances that are under two years, basically when you have extenuating circumstances beyond your control um, that you literally cannot help. So um, general timeline is two years, but there are exceptions depending on the circumstance. And in those circumstances, um, typically they need to be documented to the lender just to prove you know, whatever the circumstance is, and then it's underwritten and approved by, by a mortgage lender. So. Um, I hope this helps anybody who's had a foreclosure. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I'm more than happy to help you out. If you know of any circumstances you'd like me to talk about, I'm happy to look at those as well and uh, see, what, see what the handbook says, but also give you know, any guidance that I've, I've uh, you know, can, can give along the way through experience that I've had uh, within the last, uh, gosh, 10 years now. So anyway, hope this helps. Have a great day.